Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hello, everyone. Well, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner, and I'm currently out here at the Ocean Breeze Athletic Complex here in Stanton Island, and we have a heat of the 13-14 boys 400-meter run. And as you can see, this is quite the place here. Hi, right, this is Ron Beasley. I'm the youth division director for the Ann Arbor Tri Club. Uh, we are here at the Ocean Breeze uh, Athletic Complex in Staten Island, New York. Uh, the Ann Arbor Tri Club brought uh, about 15 athletes to compete uh, in this uh, meet uh, this time. Uh, this is our second year at this particular venue. We've been, I think, our third or fourth straight USATF Nationals. Uh, we've done meets in Landover, Maryland before. Uh, this is a great facility. Uh, and we hope to come back uh, perhaps next year. Uh, we have 15 started off. I think one of them couldn't make it due to conflict. So we brought 14 out of the 15 here. Uh, the Ann Arbor Tri Club. Flyer is kind of our nickname that we kind of gave ourselves, but it's actually the Ann Arbor Tri Club um, uh, youth division of that. Uh, we brought also two of the coaches with us, um, a bunch of parents along uh, as well. Uh, everything from the sprints to the high jump, the long jump, uh, the distance events, the sprints, and also a relay as well. Well, I have the winner of the 3,000 uh, meter run, Clara. So, what's your last name? James Hare. And uh, how old are you? Ten. Well, you did awesome today. You set a new record. How the how did that feel? Great. How'd you feel out there running today? Good. So, uh, do, do you uh, do quite a bit of training uh, now, or do you just run every now and then, or how does that go? I run like five times a week. Oh, awesome. Okay. for the Ann Arbor Triad Club and she's on her last lap. So we'll see what she does here. On this 200 meter track and there she goes. And that looks like Rob Rowe now trying to pick up the pace. Come on, Sophie. Johnson. Rockwell coming off. She could get on uh, to get second. And there she comes across the line. Fifth place in the 800. And there she goes. Sophia, one of our good little runners from the Ann Arbor Flyer Track Club, just got fifth in the 800. Fifth. 
got fifth place. Yeah. Gabby. Last day. Newman. And uh, what track club? Ann Arbor Track Club. And uh, how old are you? 13. So, what event did you do? Um, high jump. And what place did you do? I placed second. What was your height? For the 15, 18 year olds, the Ann Arbor Flyer Track Club is in fourth place there. And there they come. Okay, well, we're here at day three of the Hershey National Youth Indoor Championships here at Ocean Breeze. And we're watching one of the last events the, the boys' 15, 18, 4 by 400 relay here. Start. And we'll watch this whole thing because the relays are always exciting. Second section brings together Newark Striders. And there's a handoff. On the leg two. There they go. And here's the second relay handoff. On the leg number three. There they go. There's okay, they're all into their final leg of the event. And here he comes in, Vitas. The 330. And here comes two more. And here comes our last finisher of this heat. Cool. Okay, well. There we are, the Hershey 2017 National Youth Indoor Track and Field Championships here at Ocean Breeze here in Staten Island, New York. Okay, well, one last thing about this complex here, the Ocean Breeze Athletic Complex here. As you can see, it's a big rectangular building, but it is highly unique is that it is built on 15-foot pillars. This building had been started before the hurricane out here, and the foundations had been laid. So when it got, the foundations been messed up a little bit from the flood, they re-engineered the building and put it going around the earth that any building built close to the ocean is being built on stilt so that when rising flood waters or hurricanes or whatever, it does not completely flood the building. So this is pretty unique. This is truly a unique facility and uh, it cost $191 million. And we have to thank uh, the New York City Parks Department for building it. So